Hi, so yesterday I saw this post on social media, I can't remember exactly where, and I've written it down and it says this. One day you will tell your story of how you've overcome what you're doing, what you're going through now, and it will become part of someone else's survival guide. Today is Monday the 13th of July 2020. And on Monday the 13th of July 2015, my life changed. I didn't realise it at the time, but it did. I had been unwell for several weeks um, and had gone back and forth to the doctor and not, um, we had established it was possibly kidney stones, but um, every time I went or they visited me actually towards the end, um, giving me painkillers and so on, they kept reassuring me that the kidney stone was probably gone, it had probably passed. But we now fast forward, we know that it hadn't gone at all. It was firmly lodged and um, behind it was building up some pretty lethal stuff. Um, and on Monday the 13th of July 2015, um, it all went a bit pear-shaped and um, ended up in hospital, um, body beginning to shut down um, in the order that the body does. Um, as poison of the sepsis ripped through my body. And I was told at the time that by the medical staff that it was because I was so fit um, that I came through it, that if I hadn't been had that fitness, um, I would not be here today. So that began, um, I actually just thought I would go in, get better and that would be it. And that's not what happened. Um, and it took me a while to get to this point, to get to the point where actually I am content with where I am. 99.9% um, .9 of the time, I will admit, there is this little, little blip every, every so often where um, there is a, a wee bit of sadness that life had to change so dramatically. I, I had to leave the job that I loved, that I'd worked so hard to get to, um, just simply because I don't have the mental or physical capacity to do that job now. Um, I And other things happened too, where life had to change. I, I've moved um, into another home now, but that's where the, the sadness ends. Since 13th of July 2015, I have retrained in all the tools that helped me in my recovery. I have got the most beautiful little cottage that I love dearly. I have Sandy. Um, in those five years, I have also seen the birth of five more grandchildren. Now I have seven. Um, I have watched my adult children just grow and develop and do so much with their lives. And I'm so, so grateful that I'm here and that I've been able to experience it. So there cannot be regret, there cannot be looking back because everything that has brought me to this point has brought me to a really wonderful place and I can't ever turn my back on that. Um, so yes, so I do hope that some of what I have learned along the way that I can share, and I believe this actually very passionately and strongly, that what I can share now will help somebody. If it just helps one person get through a tricky time, then everything will be worth it. Um, so yes, so one of my children, um, in a fit of frustration, I think, to be honest with me, a few years ago now, this is um, in the early days, said, Mum, don't let sepsis define you. 
and it's not going to define me. But what is going to define me is my survival from sepsis and my journey after sepsis. That is going to define me. And I invite you to be part of that journey. And if my journey can help your journey, then it absolutely will be worth it. Thank you.